Okay, uh, a lot of people were asking how fragile uh, the solar panels are, or how durable they are. Um, they are pretty flimsy looking, and I think a lot of people will think of solar panels as being fragile, so I think that's a pretty good question. Uh, these are backed by uh, what's called uh, PCD, or printed circuit boards. Um, it's fiberglass, and it's actually thin and light, but really strong. So this is just a normal solar panel without uh, the backing board. Um, I could, for instance, drop it, right? and don't need to really worry about it. Um, the actual solar cells are a little bit set in from the edges, so even if it gets a little scrape in the corners or the edges, it doesn't really affect the functionality. So, you know, not really something to worry about. Um, but, uh, of course, uh, if you strap it onto, for example, a bag like this, you know, you might drop it. It's a pretty loud noise, but it looks fine. Let me get a close up here. Um, and then, of course, there's the backing board that I recently introduced. Uh, as you can see, the wood extends beyond the solar panel, so it gives a little more protection. Uh, I can drop it, and it doesn't even hit the solar panel. Um, the uh, wood might chip a little bit, as it did in this case. Um, but it protects the, uh, the, the solar panel pretty well. So this will take a lot more abuse. I'm going to throw it up. <laughs> and again, the corner, the corner got a little bit uh, beaten up, but the solar panel itself is uh, completely unharmed. Um, and one addition I'll be working on for this is uh, to put a polycarbonate cover on it, um, that'll probably sort of be an optional option for people who want bulletproof solar panels, uh, but that would basically make it indestructible as well. Uh, but I hope that kind of uh, answers questions about how durable the solar panels are. Again, the uh, backing board, really only necessary if you're really looking for rough applications. Uh, for most people, as you saw earlier, you don't really need a backing board to, uh, to have solar panels that fast. And in the, on the off chance that the solar panel does break, you can just get a new solar panel. Uh, they're probably going to be about $25 each, so it's not going to be a huge loss. Um, and unlike a lot of other kits where the solar panel is like epoxied onto everything else, with this kit you can just swap out the solar panels. So uh, it's not something that you probably need to worry about. Cool. Thanks.